Greetings from LA, my dear, dear friends. This is Daisuke, and I very, very much hope that this video finds you well and in very, very good spirits wherever you are in the world. And I just wanted to uh, stop by and touch base with you and say hello. I hope all is well. I haven't been doing that many uploads on this channel over the past week or so. I hope you can forgive me. It's been a bit busy over the past week uh, with work uh, and other matters uh, of that sort. And I was feeling a bit under the weather, in fact, um, for a few days there. And I'm, I'm feeling better now, so thank you very much. But uh, thank you very much for, uh, uh, for uh, those who uh, were uh, expressing concern uh, offline uh, in, in chats and messages. Uh, but I was feeling, uh, I wasn't feeling uh, so well. Uh, just a bit, a bit. I wasn't. It wasn't so serious, but just uh, a little bit lethargic and a little bit uh, just physically a spent of energy. Uh, so uh, just taking it a little bit easy there. But now I'm feeling much better, uh, much more sort of robust and, and uh, uh, excited for life. So. Uh, so yeah, so whatever I had, it, it I'm, I, I'm, I'm over it uh, for the most part. So hopefully, being able to take the uh, the weekend time um, uh, to uh, maybe uh, do a bit of uh, R and R, uh, I'll leave uh, even more. So. Uh, so, uh, but uh, that's the reason why I wasn't able to upload any videos uh, for the most part uh, this week. So I apologize for anyone who might have been anticipating uh, any uploads from my end. I apologize for that. I, I was actually planning to do some more Criterion discussion uploads, but just I couldn't get around to it because, again, um, uh, it's been a bit... Uh, uh, it's just uh, I, I needed some time just to uh, just to uh, get over this little bout of uh, of, uh, of of feeling sick, but uh, I feel much better now. So I'll try to get back to the swing of things. I haven't forgotten because I, I left off. I need to do uh, I need to upload that final discussion or two about the Renown Western set from Criterion. Um, the, the Bud Bedeker and Randolph Scott westerns uh, that came in a great set uh, about a month or so ago from Criterion, which is really great. Uh, and then also the recent Criterion releases. And now we're well into the swing of things in October 2023. So uh, I haven't forgotten those. But uh, again, uh, just um, uh, time flies, really flies, and things seem to creep up on you. Uh, I just, I feel that way, just seem, things seem to creep up on me, and then all of a sudden it's already in the middle of October. I can't believe it, so, uh, but uh, that's the situation uh, where I am, so, uh, so I, ho I hope you can forgive me. I, I haven't been so active, but I'll try to be a bit more active uh, as I get uh, my energy back, but uh, I haven't been able to go into the movie theaters as well, uh, but uh, I have been watching movies here at home, and so uh, getting back into the swing of things, I was talking with my dear friend Tanner offline as well, uh, The Horrible Show, the great YouTube channel Horrible Show, and just uh, having a nice back and forth with him. Uh, messages, exchanges uh, regarding uh, some uh, films, uh, Halloween films. I, I heard also some news about uh, uh, some uh, uh, releases or, or showings of Dawn of the Dead. Uh, so I'm very excited about that. As I heard that from my dear friend Scott. So thank you very much for that. And uh, just uh, a lot of this kind of exciting news. Uh, so uh, it would be great, for example, to be able to see Dawn of the Dead in the theater. That would be really cool indeed. Um, I'm a big fan of that film, and so uh, 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 very exciting, uh, very exciting about that. I'm very excited about that, and uh, some recent criteria releases that I've had. Uh, now we're in October, so we're getting into what one might call scary films or Halloween in spirit types of films. Uh, so. Uh, there was a recent release, a re-release of the film Don't Look Now from, I think, last week, and then this week, I think it's Videodrome. I haven't been able to get that yet, that re-release yet, although I'll, I'll try to do so from Criterion, although I've seen the film Videodrome many, 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 many times. Uh, it's one of the most fascinating, uh, really intense films uh, from the filmmaker David Cronenberg, so uh, it'll be great to be able to re-watch that uh, on the occasion of this new re-release of that film by Criterion. 
but uh, so I'm looking forward to that and uh, uh, and uh, speaking to about I uh, was speaking uh, with a number of my uh, a number of people offline too my dear friend uh, Al and the film Alien or and my dear friend Seth and we're talking about uh, films among other things Scream films and um, uh, creep show creep show so I, I have been mentioning I, I did uh, mention the film creep show a lot and how I really love that film creep show and it's a very uh, it's a very over-the-top film which I think works to its advantage so well and it has uh, a great great sense of twistiness and style that's just uh, so over the top and colorful and oh, it's almost like a it's it's like a um it's like a a cotton candy gore fest uh, and so it, it has a certain uh, charm amiable charm about it that just suddenly shocks you and, fr and frightens you in in a way that i think is like a a great <clears throat> a great thrill thrill uh engagement so uh, and uh, featuring uh, among others the great tom atkins and speaking of tom atkins i was uh, i've mentioned before re-watching the film halloween 3 season of the witch or halloween 3 which is a film that i i have always adored and uh, maybe to this day, I, I, I still love that film. I, it's, it's in the pantheon in my own head, in my own cinema journey. You know, in my head, I have that, those, that group of films that so traumatized me, that scared me, uh, scared me to no end. Uh, there were certain scenes or shocks in these films that just scared me. Uh, even now, when I watch them, I just, I get, I, I get chills because, and I feel like I'm shaking uh, because uh, I, I can't, it, there's a part of me that is very nervous when I get to watch these films, in particular certain scenes that were just so traumatizing to me as a kid. In this uh, wonderful, great way, you know, these things that that mark these memories of the cinema journey, uh, and uh, especially at a young age, you know, uh, I, I was a child of the '80s, growing up in the '80s, so watching these films when I was maybe at an impressionable age uh, really left their mark, and so they they've really affected me. So those films, among those films, I could say there's a film which is called Jaws Three, and there's also a film which is called Superman Three. And there's a film which is called Halloween 3. Uh, I'm not sure. I, it's a total coincidence that these are films that are sequels with the three. So Jaws 3, Superman 3, and, and Halloween 3. So it's, it's a complete coincidence, I think. But but uh, it's a very interesting, happy coincidence. So, so things come in threes, as it were. And so these three films, as an example, I think there are more films that really shocked me and traumatized me to the point that I still remember them. Uh, in that way, uh, somewhat f you know, half half fondly, and the other half with a with a sense of trepidation. But uh, I think those three examples here: Superman three, Halloween three, and Jaws three. These are the the the, the big three for me. The th the films that really shocked me. Uh, I mentioned a little bit about Jaws three. There's some scenes in that film that just were just over the top. Oh my goodness! So when I watch that film now. It, it I just it just it's like it's it's like um, um, uh, nails on the chalkboard type of it's like quint nails on chalkboard uh, that type of, of intensity feeling um, the heartbeat races when I watch certain scenes in Jaws three the same is true for Superman three not all the way through my, mind you but there is one scene in particular uh, with regard to Superman three. One scene in particular towards the end of the film, the climax of the film, uh, which is uh, which is one of the scariest scenes I've ever seen in my life. And I've never forgotten that scene. Superman 3, the climax of the film, is one of the scariest scenes ever for me. And so with great relish and delight, I think back fondly on that. Just there's this this great uh, cliche about hiding behind the sofa when these scary scenes were about to come up. Well, it was really true for me when I was watching Superman 3 
in the family room or the living room where the TV was when, when we were watching on a VHS or something or on TV when I came. I, there was a sofa and the TV and I would actually jump behind the sofa and go like this and not want to go and then put my ears in, um, my fingers in my ears to, to block out the sound because it would be also just so scary. Because there, the, the scene in question in Superman 3, there's the, what you see and also the sound. There's this almost blood-curdling scream that comes in this moment. And so, uh, yeah, so I was... Uh, um, that that's oh, what a, that's a great moment. I'm so glad I was able to watch Superman three when I did at that age, so I can now remember it in this way. I'm so I'm so grateful for this. Thank you very much uh, to the makers of Superman three for for giving me this wonderful childhood memory. Uh, but then also yes, uh, uh, same kudos as well to the makers of Jaws three, and then also to this other film, which is Halloween three: Season of the Witch. Uh, and I've spoken a little bit about this film already, but. Uh, this film uh, has, it seems to have it all. I, I don't know. It, it's its one of those films that's just, it's, um, I think it, it, it could be in many ways and in, in almost, uh, I mean, it's, it's, um, it's, it, it's, a, it's almost like a perfect film in, in a lot of respects because it has that a perfect sense of balance and pace and mystery and homage to to cinema past like invasion of the body snatchers and alfred hitchcock films but it also paves the way in this great um uh, deborah hill john carpenter-esque style uh which is i think uh, supported so much by uh, dean cundy look and feel and the music as well uh, tommy lee walls and then uh, tom atkins oh what a great great cast and there are, uh, again, uh, there are scenes in this film now, um, gosh, watching Halloween 3 on a VHS rental as a kid in the early 80s, and you see some of these scenes and you hear this, this great or infamous song soundtrack. Silver Shamrock, as these things are suddenly happening, and you get the great stings of music as well. Uh, there's one scene in particular in Halloween Three, and if, for those who know Halloween Three, you know what I'm talking about. I mean, there's so many. Actually, there there are a couple scenes. There's a there's a scene involving the alternate, uh, and then there's the scene involving the, the uh, so so that those those scenes, I will never forget those and uh, they just come out of nowhere and when they hit you and they're very simply they're they're I'm not simply I don't mean that in a, a derogatory way please forgive me but they, they seem that they are they are very much part of the the, the Hollywood magic uh, special effects magic of making these and then they just when they they come out of nowhere and then when they hit you they really hit you and again much like my memories of Jaws 3 much like my memories of Superman 3 I am so grateful. I'm so, so grateful that I, I was able as a kid to have been able to watch Halloween 3. I'm so grateful for that because I will never, ever, and I mean this with great fondness, I will never be able to forget that moment. And I, I think of that as a kind of, it, it's like a, almost like a, now I think of it like, like a, um, uh, uh, almost like a feeling of pride. I don't know. I'm just. I'm so happy and so proud to be able to say oh, I was able to watch Halloween three like this as a kid. Now the one thing I was I was never able to say was I, I was never able to watch Halloween three in the movie theater when I was a kid. So that's that's one of the the great great um, um, the great things I missed out on. I was able I think to watch Superman three in the theater uh, and also Jaws three in the theater as well. Um, uh, but, uh, not so for Halloween 3, at least I don't think so. If I did, I don't remember it, but, uh, but I did watch it. I did watch Halloween 3 on VHS as a kid in the 80s, and my goodness, my life changed. So, I'm so grateful for that opportunity to have that memory still. So, they're just watching that, just my mind exploded <laughs> when that happened, but. Uh, but anyway, what was I saying? Yes, so I'm so sorry. So this is just a, a quick opportunity for me to say hello. I hope you don't mind. 
uh, and we will talk again very soon. Uh, but uh, anyway, my dear friends, uh, sorry for this uh, indulgence uh, of mine to just speak off the cuff like this. I hope you can forgive me. Uh, but I hope this video finds you well. Please continue to be happy and healthy and well. You know, many, many things are happening uh, you know, out in the world. And so uh, whatever the situation is for you, whatever the case may be, uh, please, please take very good care of yourselves and your family and friends and loved ones. That's the very most uh, important treasure. Uh, and uh, 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 please, uh, you know, uh, 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 please, please uh, take very good care of yourselves. And when you have taken care of those important matters in your life uh, and those around you, uh, please continue to watch a lot of great, great, great movies. And uh, I hope you enjoy your cinema journeys. And please uh, let me know how they uh, are. Please let me know anytime, my dear, dear friends. I always love to hear about that. So until the next video, my dear, dear friends, stay strong, stay safe, and cheers. Thank you.